federal government has announced that the reconstruction of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway would be completed in the next two years. The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashala, undertook an inspection of the road from Lagos to Ogun State. And Plus TV Africa's Marichinda now reports. It is the inspection of the 311 billion Naira Lagos Ibadan Expressway by the Minister of Works and Housing. The first stop over is at Moe to inspect the section one of the interchange being constructed by Julius Beggar. The second stop over is a Shagamo interchange handled by the RCC. And then the town hall meeting with all stakeholders in the road construction, from host community to traditional rulers and to tanker drivers, contractors handling the construction and the state government. The focus here is to decongest traffic on the road amid the continuation of work. The minister is quick to ask all Nigerians to exercise patience, explaining that the federal government is doing everything possible to fund the completion of the project. Let me remind you that this road was awarded in April 1974 for the first time. It was finished four years after, 1978. There was no traffic then. There was oil money in 1974. It still took four years to build. Now imagine what we are doing without oil money, with traffic management every day. Just please bear with us. The contractors are doing the best that they can and we are solving problems as we go on. Okay, we don't have enough money. Every time you see the contractor start and stop, they have run out of money. That is the problem. No more, no less. Fortunately, Julius Niger is here. They are the contractors on Lagos Hotel. So we are owing them. He describes as irresponsible the incessant parking of tankers and trailers along the road. Parking on the highway is a violation of the Federal Highway Act which will have a duty to enforce. So working with stakeholders, working with the truck owners, working with the KBACs and the state government, let us find an immediate way to resolve this problem so that the contractor can complete his job and respond to those who are saying that it is taking time. Meanwhile, the host governor, Dabo Abiodun of Ogun State, decries the increase in road accidents along the major highways in the state and is asking the federal government to allow the state take up constructions and maintenance of federal roads within the state. When we had NSAS across the country, the we said we had end bad roads. In Agbara, at the Sara, it was end bad roads. In Otai, it was end bad roads. 2022 is almost here and the countdown has already begun for the completion of this project. Before then, motorists will have to be extremely patient. Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa.